Hello friends, today we are going to see how to print a path in a binary tree which has the given sum. So let's see. This is the binary tree and if we want a path with sum 20, then this is the path in which the nodes addition form the sum 20. That is 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 6, 10 plus 10 is 20. So this is how we find a path in a binary tree which has the given sum. Let's see how to write a program for printing the path with the given sum. So for printing the path with given sum, we are going to use the in order traversal of binary tree. And a variable which is named as sum and a stack. So these are the three things which we are going to use and print the path and check the path for that given sum. So let's see what is in order traversal. In my previous videos I have explained the in order traversal in detail and I have mentioned the link in the description below. Here as well I will quickly revise the traversal in order. So as you know for in order traversal we first go to the left subtree of a node then we visit or we print that node and then we go to the right subtree of that node. For example if this is the binary tree then first we will print b then root that is a and then c this is the in order traversal that is left subtree then the node itself and the right subtree so here for checking the sum i will add some lines in this code which will convert this in order code to a code which will record the path and also check for that sum. So whenever you visit a node for example a node 1 so the node 1 is passed to this code. So now our pointer p is pointing to node 1 of this binary tree. So if it is passed as a parameter then we will check whether it is null. No, it is not null. Please check this subtree. I will just uh, clear this subtree so that there is no confusion. So p is pointing to the root of that subtree. So here before going to the left subtree of p we have to add the data of p that is 1 to the variable sum. We have to add that node. So I will write here sum is equal to sum plus the data p points data. So the data of variable p currently p is pointing to 1 and we will put that 1 into stack. So push push p so we will push that node 1 into stack you can push p or you can push p points data anything is okay now after pushing the node to the stack then you have to check whether the current sum is matching with the sum which we have to check that is k. So whether is it matching to k? So if it is not matching to k then we will not do anything and we will go to the next step. But if it is matching then we have to print the stack you have to print the stack so here in this case the sum variable is initialized to 0 and 
when the node 1 is passed as parameter to this function then with this line that is sum is equal to sum plus the data we add 1 to 0 that is the node 1 is added here and we push this node into stack which is already written here now 0 plus 1 will become 1 so 1 is not equal to 20 so we will directly go to the next line because 1 is not equal to 20 we will not print anything we will just go to the next line so the next line says us to check the left subtree this is a recursive call to the function and the left subtree is passed that is the left node of p now here on every node i have written l and r l r l r this is written for showing that l is the left subtree and r means to check right subtree so for one as i have moved to left subtree now p will point to left subtree that is left node that is 2 here again for node 2 you have to again follow these lines that is sum is equal to sum plus data so 1 plus 2 and 2 will be pushed into stack so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 is not equal to 20 go to the uh, next line so again left subtree so again come to left subtree so the left step here is over again before the left step just add 4 to the sum and push 4 into the stack so 3 plus 4 here is 7 7 is not equal to 20 so move to the left subtree so again 8 7 plus 8 is 15 move 8 into stack so this 15 is not equal to 20 so go to the left but the left is null now means we went into this in order function for the left subtree but left subtree is null this left subtree is null this left node is null so we come out of this function here and we come to the line print p points data which is not needed here because we are not going to print anything here we are just using this in order traversal so just go to the next line so for next line in order p points right so come to the right of this uh, node so when we come to the right of this node again this right is also null so we come out and we go into this box so now you can see when we come out of this box we are going to leave this function which means we are going to leave this node 8 we are going to return to the parent we are going to come out of this function for this node means we are going to return to its parent if you have seen my in order traversal video neatly you will perfectly understand this so when we come out of this obviously 8 is not in path now and we have to subtract 8 and we have to pop 8 from here also because when we move out of this node then we then we will go to the right so the path will be 1 2 4 9 8 will not be in path so we have to subtract 8 so here we have to write here from sum sum is equal to sum minus p points p points data i'll just make a bracket there so sum is equal to sum minus data of p p points data and pop we have to pop that node from stack obviously that will not node will be at the top so from 15 we have to subtract 8 and we have to pop from the stack so what we, 15 minus 8 will be 7 
will be 7 okay so now after we come out of this which means we are again at this node now that is 4 and 4 for 4 the left subtree is over left subtree is over only remaining step is the right subtree so we go to the right subtree see we came out of the left subtree part now we will go to the right subtree of 4 so when we go to the right subtree again the same things we have to first go to the left so while going to the left we add 9 to the sum and we go for left check and we also add 9 to the stack so what is 9 plus 7 is 16 16 is not equal to 20 so we go to the left again we go to the right and we come back and we go back to the parent from 9 so while going back we subtract 9 and we pop 9 from the stack so 16 minus 9 is so again it is equal to 7 okay so from 4 as left and right subtrees are over we move back so when we move back we have to subtract 4 and we have to pop from stack so when we move back again 7 minus 4 is 3 so add 2 let's go and check the right subtree now left part is over so check right subtree so right is 5 so add 5 push 5 to the stack sorry push 5 to the stack 3 plus 5 is 8 8 is not equal to 20 left part of 5 is null right part of 5 is null so go back so again we have to pop from here and we have to subtract i will just uh, delete means actually 3 plus 5 was 8 you have to subtract 5 and it will again be 3 okay now you have to as left and right part of 2 is over you have to go back so you have to pop 2 and subtract 2 so again it will be sum will be 1 yes the sum is equal to the root which means in the left subtree there is no path with sum is equal to 20 which is proved so as left part is over go to the right part of 1 so the node is 3 so 1 plus 3 okay push 3 into the stack okay then for 3 first the left subtree check for left subtree it is 6 so uh, add 6 and push 6 into the stack 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10 I will write 10 here whether 10 is equal to 20 no so again we came from 1 to 3 3 to 6 so now 6 to 10 so add 10 and push 10 into stack 10 plus 10 is 20 so 20 is equal to 20 yes it is so 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 and 20 is equal to 20 which means the nodes in the stack represent a path with sum is equal to 20 so this is how we got the path for sum is equal to 20 now again in this tree there can be a path present in the remaining tree with sum is equal to 20 so if we continue executing this code then we will check left subtree of 6 then left subtree of 3 so there also we may get a uh, path with sum is equal to 20 so we will print two paths three paths but in this case there is only one path with sum is equal to that 20 that is 1 3 6 and 10 which we print here if sum is equal to equal to k print the stack so this is how we check for the path and we print the path with given sum hey friends Please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.